A few weeks ago, I made a video where I designed an app in 30 minutes. And if you saw that video, you know that it was very challenging. But you guys seem to really like watching that whole process. And someone even commented that I should keep working on it and show the difference between after 30 minutes versus after longer working on it. So that is what I'm gonna do today. friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm Maddie, if you're new, I am a product designer and I make videos about design and productivity. So if you wanna see weekly videos about those things, feel free to hit subscribe. And with that out of the way, let's get into what we're doing today. So the first thing I started with was reconfiguring this calendar a bit. I wanted to have room to have the entire week and I also wanted to make it more clear what day it currently was and what day you had appointments scheduled for. So I just sort of redesigned that whole system there. Um, and then I moved on to kind of breaking this step up and creating a better hierarchy. As it stood, all of those um, headlines were the same style. So it was kind of unclear what you should look at first, second, third, um, etc. So. I made these your clipboard section definitely the most prominent and I started out by trying this folder design which I thought was cool but it ended up not really working that well um, for this specifically um, but yeah so I kind of just went back to the squares but I did end up using this shape um, as kind of like the background so it ended up being a really good way to break things up a little bit so yeah i'm still here trying to figure out the right colors i wanted to make the backgrounds kind of neutral so that these cards would stick out a bit so um yeah this is kind of what ended up working Then I'm just sort of making notes of what I know I need to include. I thought about having a tab bar, but then I realized that I just kind of wanted to have this homepage link out to everything else. So I threw a settings button in the upper right corner, added the reminders back at the bottom. And yeah, if I had more time, if I was gonna spend more time on this, I probably would have had a tab bar, but this is just a little design exercise. Next, I started designing the primary care screen. So if you were to tap on the primary care card, this is what would come into frame. And yeah, I kind of decided that I wanted to have um, your appointments at the bottom. So like it ended up being what appointment you have next. And then another important thing here was this practitioner component. So I wanted the user to be able to easily call their doctor just from their app. And so that's kind of what I had here. You would just kind of program whatever phone number into there. And yeah, I just created that component and then ended up duplicating it when I realized that the person might have more than one doctor. Um, over time. I just used that handy little plugin called UI Faces. And if you watch any of my behind the design or design with me videos, you know that I spend a good amount of time trying things that just don't end up working. And <laughs> that's very normal as a designer. So yeah, I kind of tried to use those folders again and ultimately just decided to make them into links instead. So that's what you're seeing me do here. Yeah. 
Then I went and built out this um, next appointment component. So you're reminded of when your most, um, your upcoming appointment is, where it is, um, with who, and you can also add like little notes next to it if you need to remember something specific about that appointment. Then since we had room on top here, I decided to add in a little header image. I just grabbed this from Unsplash and yeah, I think it just helps kind of ground you so that you really remember where you are based on that image and not just by the title itself and just adds a nice visual element. Playing around with the placement here, it took me a while to get it right. Um, and then I wanted to make sure it was um, consistent across the board any other time I used that folder um, design. Next, I am building out the medications page. So this is where you can keep track of any medications, vitamins, and supplements that you are taking. And at first I had this really kind of like very over-designed <laughs> and I ended up really simplifying it um, and just making it more into a list. I took a lot of inspiration from the To Do app for this. Um, if you're curious, To Do is spelled T E U X T E U X. It is my To Do app of choice, and I just really like how simple it is. Um, and so, while this is not a to do list, it is a list that you should be able to edit and add to. So yeah, that ended up working well and I knew I wanted to be able to mock up what it looks like to add an element here. Um, and so yeah, I ended up having all of these fields become tappable, which is why I gave them a nice white background so that you can slide to edit or to delete. And then here I'm adding a nice little design that I already kind of sketched out on my iPad months ago for a different project, just because these were really boring and I thought that these little sketches would bring them to life more. So I just scaled them down and used a blend mode um, until I found one that looked really nice and subtle. And I think it really ended up helping. I think it looks really nice and fun and it just gives it, um, yeah, just kind of more of a design style. So I ended up adding that also to this next appointment card. Now here I am prototyping. So I'm using scroll groups and auto animate and having the keyboard come in from the bottom when you want to add a vitamin or supplement. And all of this stuff, if you aren't super familiar with XD and you wanna learn more, I do have tons of tutorials um, on my YouTube channel on the tutorial playlist. So check that out if you wanna learn more about what I am doing here, cause it is obviously very sped up. Okay, and here is the final result all mocked up. This is what I created in three hours versus the other one that I created in just 30 minutes. So you can see that I definitely could have gone further, but this one is so much better and more detailed than the last. If you like this video, you'll probably like my behind the design playlist. So I will leave that linked in the cards and I hope you'll check it out. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.